going on YouTube this is your boy once again Nate Torres um, bringing you another video lesson I know it's been a while really all I have up there so far has been uh, pretty much uh, conga lessons everything covering from salsa to wawanko um, I plan on getting on that more as well um, but today I'm gonna do something that I've been receiving a lot of messages about um, I know there's other videos up there on YouTube too but y'all know that I have my own style I have my own way of just um breaking things down and I like to really take it as simple as possible to make it as easy as, easy for all of you out there who want to actually learn the instrument. Um, I try to break it down as simply as possible so that you guys can have a better opportunity to do so. So what we're going to do today is talk a little bit about bongos, right? So I got um, my favorite pair of bongos here that I bought years and years ago. They still look great. They're a pair of uh, LP Galaxy Giovanni series bongos. Um, look really nice really good um, if you hit them see they're a little out of tune so that's what we're going to talk about today um, in this short video only a couple minutes long we're just going to go over tuning how to tune what uh, sound to look for and I hope you guys out in the most basic um, so here we go first thing you want to do when you start tuning is to make sure that you're starting at one point that you remember right you decide go maybe halfway around and make sure that you go around the drum doing each lug individually and equally as you did the other ones so that means don't do half here and then do a whole one here you know and make sure that once you start on one make sure you come back to that same one so what I like to do is start at the top left and remember that I start there every time I start tuning and just tune forward and once I know that I get back here I'm done right so we do this a couple times just to test it out, depending on the head that you have or depending on the bongos that you have, it may not be um, as easy. So you want to do this one, the lower drum, a lot. Uh, not too much. If you start to hear any noises, any weird noises, cracking or anything like that, that's a sign that you really need to stop. If you, uh, you want to do this one a, a good amount, but not too much. So we can do it maybe about two or three times. It all depends on how loose or how tight your heads already were so you want to keep that in mind as well all right so now I'll just do a little quarter turn here so so far I've given it about two or three turns you can stop always stop to check the sound all right that's not too bad um, if you want to slightly tamper with it you can maybe detune this one a little bit because it's a little high for some people depending on the style of music that you're playing also depends on how you're going to tune it. So for the lower one, I detuned it a little bit. But for the higher one, I'm going to tune it up a little bit. You kind of want it to have like a really popping sound to it, right? So you want... Alright, so that sounds pretty good. Now if you're playing uh, side side music, what you want to do is, like I said, try to get that same that really poppy sound. Really high pitched poppy sound, even on the lower drum be able to hear still like a, a high pitch sound um, if you're playing styles such as like bachata or um, any other style like that typically in bachata and stuff like that they have a lower uh, frequency to them um, you can tune them like this and still play and still play decent enough but um, you're still you know depending on the style of music you want to adapt to it also to how you feel so I would recommend that you guys just get accustomed to listening to whatever style of music that, is, that it is that you're playing. Uh, try to listen for the percussion, listen for the bongo specifically, and how they're tuning their drum, and then that should help you from there and use that as your guide. Um, like I said, just make sure that you always go evenly around each one, one, two, three, four. Do the exact same amount on every one. I can't stress that enough. If you don't do that, then what happens is your head starts to get pulled down in different directions unevenly. That creates inconsistency in tone, it creates uh, unnecessary tension on certain parts of the hardware. Um, it's not evenly distributed. So as you can imagine, it starts to have a problem. Now these I've had for over 10 years. I just replaced the head on this one. And this one I've had since I got the bongos, since I got the drums. And it still looks good, still sounds good. It's all about the care that you uh, get to the instrument. Also make sure that when you finish playing every time, every single time, I always do this, you always detune. So you take it. And exactly as much as you did before, boom, you just detune it going counterclockwise. That's how you detune. You tune going clockwise, obviously. And just get it lower. 
All right, just keep on going until it's pretty much, until you can start to push this in and it sounds really low. And that extends the life of the head a lot. It helps you uh, just keep everything good. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I told you I was going to be quick. It's just a short uh, tutorial on how to tune, how to care for the bongos, and um, hopefully you guys enjoy the next ones. Thank you.